Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Rope Man, bringing up the other top 10 video. Today, we're going to be talking about top 10 reasons Rec Room is dying. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 10, their community base. What I mean by their community base, I'm trying to say, like, their community base is uh, not sportsman like. Uh, too many little kids, too many kids taking racism as a joke, uh, not that many fun people to play with, it's hard to make friends and all that. Um, but the main reason why I say they're community based is because some people like to troll and some people like to take racism as a joke. So that's why that half of the people leave Rec Room. And these top 10 reasons, one of them is their community base. Okay? And that's the reason why I say community base. Number 9. Their maps. Have you guys ever thought because Rec Room Studio is going to change their maps? Right. But let's all be honest. Rec Room Studio is a good feature. But I don't think Rec Room Studio is going to help them. So here's what I mean by maps. Maps are too uh, uh, basic, they're too comprehended, they're, there's way too many PvPs, way too many military games, there's never good horror games except from Lucifer Arts, I just think the maps in Rec Room need to have a little bit better um, upgrades, like with Rec Room Studio, like added Rec Room Studio and every other map to actually make it look realistic and fun. Number 8. Number eight. Okay, so you guys ready? Number eight, racism. I know this is a little bit too high, but let's all be honest. Racism is not tolerated. Right? So here's what I mean by racism. Racism by record players is like calling someone a nigger, a monkey, a cracker, calling everybody that. Okay? And that's how I got false reported. That's what I mean to me. You have been banned as a result to a voice moderation system detecting language that violates your code of conduct. When I didn't say anything. When I didn't say anything. So, racism cannot be tolerated, right? And when someone is tired of getting called a monkey, a nigger, a nigger ball, even though it's a joke, the people can either kill themselves or they can either leave record permanently and that's what makes them die. Number seven. They're overpriced ass items. So what I mean by overpriced ass item. So look, when we go inside the customize, fuck, I can't go inside customize. I can't go inside customize. But you got some uh, hot dog outfit, for example, a thousand. Uh, you got the note headphones for ten k, eight thousand. Uh, you got the um, invasion arm backpack for fifteen thousand. You got the fucking uh, bundles for like twelve thousand. Nobody is paying that much for some items, right? Nobody's paying that much for some items. Uh, somebody's rich, exclusive for arts, they can afford that because they're up to like 31 tokens by now. But nobody's going to pay a $20 thing when it's not going to be around. It's definitely going to be rare because it's overpriced. So when a kid flexes on this um, expensive item, it's most likely his mommy's credit card. Now coming on to number six, we got... Rec Room Originals. I think the main reason why Rec Room's dying is because the Rec Room Originals. So what I mean by this, it might sound stupid at first when I say Rec Room Originals, like what does that have to do with anything? But the Rec Room Originals never get updates, like people that want Rec Room Originals and don't play other games. They never get uh, new games like every single month or so. The only games that they play is Golden Trophy, Rec Rally, uh, Paintball, Showdown. And I think that they need to add some more Rec Room Originals. Because the reason why Rec Room Originals is making Rec Room die is because they have no updates, they have no futures, and they don't even add Rec Room Originals. The only Rec Room Originals you have is Stunt Runner, Rec Rally, Golden Trophy, Christmas the Cauldron, uh, The Rise of Jumbotron. Rec Rally, Showdown, Bowling, Soccer, and a few more. 
Like, everybody has played that before. So let's get some new uh, record versions coming in. So now, coming in at number five, we got the people who do not know what Requiem is about. So what I'm trying to say is some people come into Requiem downloading on the first day, and some people go in and expect Requiem to be like a little uh, nice simple VR game. But some people, when they download Rec Room, they call it shit, then they install it. And here's why they call it shit. You got some trolling, you got some junior accounts, and you got some um, people being stupid. Right? That's why people uninstall Rec Room the first day. And that's what makes their downloads go down. Starting in at number four. Now, these are top fours and stuff now. Starting in at number four, junior accounts. Junior accounts in this game are absolutely dumb. I think junior accounts should be removed. I think that you shouldn't even get juniored in the first place because the little kids want to have some fun too. Um, in my opinion, junior accounts should never been in a thing. You had a junior accounts like two years after the game released. And I definitely think the junior accounts are pointless to even add because because I do understand why they're adding junior accounts is because they 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 do not want little kids to hear like negative things, Santa's fake and all that, you know. So I get why, but I don't know why they can't talk or text it with. I don't know why they can't text. That's stupid. They should be able to hear, but not talk. But only text in here. And at least add a texting feature, so that's why I recommend I'm because of junior accounts coming on number four. Number three. People trolling. The reason I say people trolling is because some people um, like to go inside your maps um, when, you, when they say, Hey, then we'll have some hosts. Then they're like, yeah, sure, give them hosts that you don't even know them, and they're going to delete their whole map and save it. For like a million view map. And that's the main reason why people leave, because of trolling, is because of that, or either people just take racism as jokes, spawn killing you in PvP maps, um, and you don't see the good side of Rec Room when that happens. I definitely think Rec Room is dying because of trolling at number three. Now, these are the top two definitely reasons why Rec Room is dying. Number two, Rec Room's fan base. Okay, community and fan base are two different things. Fan base is when you help people and all that. You help people see the good side of Rec Room. And community base is people that play. So, you know what? No, no, no. You know what? Number two. They're builders. Okay. The main reason why I say the um, helpers of Rec Room, like uh, Harry Manlegs, Maria, um, Emily Waffles, is because they don't do much. Like, Harry Manlegs is a YouTuber of Rec Room. Maria is just an event creator. I definitely think that the events make it die off too because the events are pointless. And the Reckon birthday event was ass, totally bad. So I will put at number two, Rec Room's development. Now coming in at final one, why Rec Room is dying. False reports and bans. So here's what I mean. I got false reported, four day suspension. A four day suspension or ban, whatever you call it. I, I call it a ban. Um. So, you know how some people go around saying when someone says something wrong back to me, right? Oh, I'm going to report you for saying fuck you. And that's what happened to my friend Slim. He got banned in four days for that, for voice moderation. Um, and my other friends got banned for almost months and months and months for racism, trolling and all that, when they never did that. So, this is the top reason why Rucker is dying. Is false reporting and getting false banned. Thank you guys for watching. 
help me reach 30 subscribers would mean a lot to me. I'll keep doing more videos like this. I'll upload again right after this one, talking about something else. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.